Can I just hop across the boat? Yeah, just jump up. Yep. We'll ignore you. Yeah. All right. I, all right, I've done my job. Yeah, now we just normal game time again. Oh, this looks fun. <laughs> have you guys? Have you guys ever? I've like been straight up like stuck, like uh, stuck in figuring out uh, a ghost house before, because. Uh, Mario I, yeah. World. Mario World. Yeah, no. I I know the specific one that's uh, stopped me for a while. Um, do you remember what, uh, which ones did for you? You first. Uh, the I the booze that turn into platforms. Uh, I had no idea that they did that, so I kind of just ran around like an idiot, <laughs> trying to fi find something that wasn't there, and then. Like, that just took forever for me to figure out that's how that worked. Two star coins in a row like that? Yeah, that was, mm, I, sure. there's, something sus, there's, there's something sus here. Sus. Um, well, what about you two? I can't remember the... Can't I remember can't remember the exact... Region. Um, you, you could wait, go back to, go back to the left. To the left. Oh no. I think it's a bit late now. I think you're dead. Oh, it's oh, rising lava. Okay. <laughs> That's why you had to go for what I thought, because like there was a gap there. I thought you had to fall in between and wall jump up, <laughs> or wall or slide down and then wall jump, because I was because I was gonna assume it was like, oh, maybe there's a thing in there, mm. you know? Right. Well, you uh, you go through the level first. Right. Um. Yeah. Were you saying things? Ooh, crappy? Uh, either of you. Uh, did, well, was there anything, like, to... Oh, right, a Mario the... World ghost house. Ghost house, uh, yeah. I can't think of it directly because it's been a while. I can't think of it directly because it's been a while and the Mario World levels all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite Mario game, but no, it's lacking in visual variety. Uh, a little bit. I do think... I do... I will say that, uh, I think... Uh, what is it? I think that the, um, the, uh, world map is, feels more natural than, like, Mario U, because it feels like the worlds na more naturally, like, weave into each other, where, whereas in Mario U, uh, it kind of, it's basically just an open, uh, like, a big open map, uh, and then, like, the area kind of just abruptly changes, um, for no real reason. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit more jarring. It's easier to be natural when most of the world in Mario World 1 are just grass, grass of a lake, then grass on a bridge, then a forest. <laughs> I never really, yeah, I, I never really noticed, oh, it, noticed it that much with Mario World just because of how, um, I don't know. I, hmm. Like what level is that one? 6A. 6A, 6A. Vanilla Dome and uh, Chocolate Island. Is that how you pronounce it? Choco Island? Uh, like, those are just kind of the odd ones out. Mm. Fair coin. As of a second, there's a platform below that rises up when, when stepped on. Half the is a big dry bones that can be reached up to the third star coin. Oh, is it this? Uh, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I think. Why? Oh, yeah. No, no! Oh, gosh. Well, that that works! Problem. How are we gonna survive after this, though? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, Only the star made you invincible to lava. Yeah. Oh, I know one up. I'm sad. Well, we made it. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, easy enough. Hey, we made it. Made it. Right. Can I only do one more level. 
Alright. Alright. I guess we'll do the bony over there. Do the what? <laughs> that. Yeah, I, I know what I said. <laughs> what the heck was that? You were the, that was either an emulator hiccup or you just miraculously slowed down. <laughs> that was that too? That's suspicious. Why is this up here? What is this? Screw with you. No? Okay. Why would they put that there? And now we fall into the pit. It burns! It burns. Oh no. I appreciate the effort in some in trying something like this. Yeah. It's like uh, the Wii version had the uh, the like the bone coaster thing and this this is a bit more uh, lax, I guess. This is Lax as you're going over lava. <laughs> well you know what I mean. <laughs> this is Slow. Yeah. I yeah, mean, it's not the Goomba stack. Yeah, I mean, lacks compar comparatively slow. Oh, sorry. I guess. There's like, something up there. Because like the the uh, bone coaster was like going like super fast, and this is like just a stroll. <laughs> How did that Paragoomba just fall off? Yeah. Because they can't fly. They can only hover. They can only hover. Tiny Goombas are so weird. Can you spring up there? Oh, what does this lead? Is it a secret? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I see. It's gonna yeah. still hurt you. Uh. We will assume none of those do anything. Yeah, um, in terms of, like, the Mario World stuff, though, I... I... It is true that that game doesn't have, like, a lot of, um, like, f like, level tropes, I guess, but it's something that's never really bothered me that much, and I can't really arti articulate why. I think a lot of it has to do with, like, just how fun the levels themselves are, and also, um, I don't know, game structure, uh, and with... Especially with how like secret exits work and how rewarding yeah. those feel those feel to find. Uh, there's yeah, th there's not something I've really thought about much. So um, there, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, but there's something up there. If the camera's going that high. Oh, yeah. wait, run right. No. Oh gosh, Harry. Oh, just coinage. To the left, now to the left, to the left. Er yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. Do you, well, do you guys have, uh, oh, well, well, there. I think the other thing I like about Mario World is, is the fact that is, like, it feels like you're just gradually exploring the, the island and it feel, like, I don't know. Just something about how that game is done just speaks to me. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a really well-made game. Also, there's no secret exit. Fair enough. Well, I guess we're done here. Uh, we might as well just do this one-up house. Alright, to kill, to, to kill the fill the slot. <laughs> I don't know. Mario World is just such a well-made game. Right. Especially for a launch title. Mm. Leave it to that Nintendo magic. Pretty much. Golly, a perfect score! <laughs> Come on, don't spin with me. Alright. Yeah. All dance right. with me, Lois. Dance the dance of life! Lois. Diarrhea. Hey, Lois. Alright. Diarrhea. Wait, is that a level you've got to pay for? Uh, I guess so. 
I don't know if we actually talked about how the star coins are used in this game yet, but um, we'll save that for next time, I guess. So, yeah, for, like, okay, so yeah, next session will be the last one because we just got the, like, back half of this world left and then world star, I think. So not much left to go here. Um, yeah. Alright. See you guys Good night, everyone. Time. See you guys Good next night. time. <laughs> Hi. Let's get Welcome back. Brief. Yeah, I like how sometimes it just kind of has a fit, like the music just kind of slows down and it speeds up to catch up. <laughs> yeah, there's not much left of the game. Just the rest of the world six and then the special world. Yeah, this is definitely a fire level. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess they got some fire bros here, so that's fine. I like the uh, little particle effects going on. That's kind of that's pretty. Oh! <laughs> well, that happened. I'm waiting for a specific, like, uh, I think it's an outside ghost house level where you have to, like, uh, fly to the top, top of the screen at the very start. Hmm. Uh, meanwhile, I'm in the ma I'm I'm just playing Xenoblade uh, 3 in the background. <laughs> Are you uh, nearly done with that? I think so. For what? For what? I'm, I was just doing a lot of side quests, so now I'm just moving on. Mm-hmm. Is there anywhere I want them to be? Uh, so, off, I, I, do you want to just talk about uh, what you were talking about um, off camera, like the N64 thing, uh, cartridges or whatever? Yeah. Well, I guess we could just generally talk about that stuff, like yeah. overall. Because I don't, yeah, I don't know what, what there is to say about this game at this point. <laughs> well, um. Eh. Ah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm going for a poison area. Yeah. No. Um. I, here's something. Did there, how many colored cartridges did you have back then? Um. Colored cart. Um. I had a few, cause like one of them was actually a Scooby Doo game. I think the, the only one I had, and it wasn't even mine, it was uh, my friend's copy of Stadium 2. Uh, I don't remember if I had any others. Is that colored? Um, well, at least the one I had was colored. Hmm. Was well, that scrappy? Yeah. Scooby-Doo game on N64 was probably classic creep capers. I think it was like one where you. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. I think like it was basically just a couple of like old Scooby Doo episodes. I think the very first one was "What a Night for a Night." They never adapt to their shows for games. <laughs> mm. Oh, damn it! It was weird too. It was like you just ran around as Shaggy and just like it was like a pointing click almost. <laughs> yeah. That sounds amusing. Scooby does not have as many point and click games as you'd think he would. I did. Oh, no. I'm reminded of a of a you game. You're supposed to like, get the gold ring so you could get them to shoot fire golden coins, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I just w didn't want to like take damage. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> I didn't want to die. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I do rem I don't know if I said this um, in an earlier part or something else, but I do remember playing, like, a bunch of the uh, Scooby-Doo Flash games that were, like, point and clicks. That was from story time. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, they, um, there was that, um, where you, like, there are a bunch of different, like, uh, Shaggy and Scooby games where, like, you're basically just playing as them both as like they're both basically one character, and you're just like doing a point and click uh, stealth game basically because you're trying to avoid um, like enemies or whatever. I know like one episode was like like a pirate ship or something, and you 
you know, you just grab like a bunch of random items and try and figure things out. Um, I remember just being really bad at them. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, pardon. This feels like something from a galaxy game. Kind of, Oof. yeah. I hate those enemies. The, oh, those things from Mario 3. Yeah. It's not even the fact that how it's 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 their fucking fire tails. <laughs> yeah. But they always manage to nip me. Like, uh, because, like, they're in the Sky World, too, where you're dumb and, and usually an auto scroller. <laughs> yeah, there's one auto scroller in Mario 3 that's like the death of me, and it, it's just basically it's a, such a simple level where it's just like a couple moving platforms that go at the speed of molasses. But, like, the problem with it is that you have to do all those fire chomps. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> you have to do all those fire chomps. This is not a secret. Yeah, and. Since you don't have much space to maneuver around them, you, you kind of just cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hate those things. I understand. Oh, I missed something. I'll be like these enemies. Mm. Oh gosh, I thought that thing would crush you. It probably would. That is kind. Of, that does kind of feel like a galaxy gimmick in a in a sense. Hmm. Ah, come on, come on. Where? I'm trying to think if I've seen a block like this before. Hey, let's, but I can't think of it. Uh, there's definitely been stuff like this, but I don't know about like this specific kind of block. Reminds me because it reminds me of something in Mario 3. Yeah, there's definitely been stuff. Yeah, like the platforms that um, move when you uh, jump on them or whatever. Direction. Yeah. And then there's like the platforms that. Um, ah. Like just cut. I think they like in one level in Mario World they just move straight forward, but um, it's like timed. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Mario number one. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I keep on expecting Mario to say that's so, so nice. <laughs> so, so nice. For the longest time, I thought you were saying Texas so nice. <laughs> what? That's what it sounded like to me. First time I heard this one. Seems to be speaking Italian, but oh man, I missed the blue shell. <laughs> I mean, there's also the fact that like, oh, okay, that's just death. <laughs> um, there's also the fact that apparently Charles Martinet is saying "So long, King Bowser," but it doesn't sound like that at all. So long, King Bowser. So long, Yeah, it doesn't. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so long, a Bowser with his accent, but. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be because I. I've heard it's like. Is it like I've heard from people that's like so long a Bowser and then. I've heard King Bowser as well. I don't know what's correct. And uh, uh, to me, it's gay Bowser. <laughs> Mario is not a homophobe, let's not. <laughs> this is a very... This is a very, very interesting level. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they're interested to see what everyone has for Final Four. So, is it... What we've... We've spoken at length of this game. I don't know what else to say. I mean, yeah. I, oof, okay. I don't know, but and I can't really give final thoughts for a game I haven't really played. <laughs> right. 
Th this game has definitely been very interesting, though, because I the last time I played this was years ago. Um, so a lot of this is. It's like a little more chill play for so far. Yeah. yeah. Do you even need the one-up house, Harry? Not Man, really. Why we can get it? Not really. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, like getting uh, one-ups in Crash games. Like even when you get 99, sometimes you just still pick them up because it just feels good. I don't think this game does the the, the the trick that DS does, where like, um, it's like a like a fake out or whatever. Like you think you got the to the end of the game, but there's like a bunch more levels. Oh yeah, that was great. I do think DS's like final Bowser Castle was really good. Um, like I like the the actual Bowser fight in Wii is like definitely the best in, in the in the uh, new series at least, but the actual castle level itself, um, compared to DS, I think it left a lot to be desired. I forgot the cap, I'm just so used to the final portions of that, uh, of the Bowser fight, uh, kind of messing with me. The Bowser fight itself definitely makes up for it, I I'd say. I mean, the actual fight is just kind of Bowser, but when you get to... <laughs> Yeah. The rest that gets interesting. Yeah, like when he turns, like it's one of the, it, it's one of the times when Bowser turning giant actually benefits the um the fight instead of just like oh gosh. Whoa! I just, I look back at the stream and I'm like oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And have we ever talked about like the Bowser being giant much? Cause I mean, probably in the games where he probably in the games where he was giant. Like, I know we've like, like probably brought it up before, but I don't know if we've seri like properly like seriously talked about it. We discussed Bowser's inconsistent side thing every once in a while, I believe. Mm. Do you think he works better um, being giant or just normal size? What is normal size for Bowser? <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, I think mean, that's also another thing. It works the like, he's fine usually with what, in whatever game he is in. I know words. Um, usually, whatever size yeah. Nintendo shows for him per game usually works. Yeah, I feel like... Suit. I feel like in, in Galaxy 2 specifically, it... it comes off like they're trying to that they made him big because um they're trying to make it stand out from the first game and make him more menacing but it doesn't really work so am i, I the only one who does not have any issues with bowser's fight in galaxy 2 <laughs> um the what well, the actual oh, okay well i mean the final, final, fi uh, like, phase or whatever, um, I like it in concept, but I just think it's way too easy. I don't, the thing, I don't really know how you'd make it harder without just completely going, like, starting from scratch. Because, like, that, if you, yeah. Uh, the galaxy, like, they... Rethor got a hit and he gets a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> the way you make that final phase harder is just making a time meter boss from Sonic Generations and oh, no thank God. you. Yeah, no. So. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, that's why I like... I don't think you can really make that part, that part like, hard without, like, taking a million more hits or you just do something different. Which, which I mean, fair enough. I... It, I guess it's in one way it can be just seen as like a victory lap, but um, the way I I think just the way it's done, like the epic music and all the grandeur and all that, makes it feel like it should be um, 
more eventful than it ends up being, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I haven't, repl I haven't played Galaxy in a decade, but I mean, like, I recently not... did. I recently did a like spinless thing, so it's fairly fresh in my mind. Well, I'm gonna say like final final phases of bosses being easier isn't nothing new. Like, well, yeah, but. Actually, what is how does Sephiroth work in FF7? Like the I don't know. sword battle in the flames is like actually the first phase, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I always Jason. assumed that I always assumed that Cipher Sephiroth was like the final phase. I think he is. So. Uh, yes, yes, and no. Well, I know there's like the oh, bit gosh. where like uh, Cloud does the Omni Slash on him. Yeah, that's all the worst hurtless Sephiroth is, I think. <laughs> right, well, I, I don't really count that though because it's more of just um it's not really part of the of a fight it's like a scripted event as far as i'm aware also i missed something are these crow enemies what did when did they debut i i think they're they're in new they're in uh, new mario ds i know that much they feel like they belong in yoshi's island probably are like they're not the they're not the Raphael Ravens, but yeah. I feel like they could be distant cousins. Yeah. Oh no, they're like the little seagulls that you see in the opening of Yoshi's Island, but you know, with black feathers. <laughs> or those clothes that are beside of Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> oh yeah! I forgot those were a thing. Okay, is this the level where you have to like, go up? No, I'm pretty sure it's not, because I swear to god, like, the level I'm thinking of um, there's like a- it's like poisonous water and stuff. I don't think it's this level. No, in this game it's another hidden, like, vine. Is it this? No. Maybe... Okay. Everything is. I'm just trying to see what looks suspicious at this point. Everything is done. Fly up here. <laughs> I don't think there's enough room. Yeah. That's not gonna work. What the heck? I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, that's the third one. Does anything stand out to you? I was looking. I was I, cause like I, I was actually focusing more at the screen than my uh, switch for once. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. I jump every square inch. Hope something happens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making random coins up here, so that's something, but... Do we need a guide again? Eh! Hmm. Uh... Grabby wants to pull up the page and be my guess. Yeah, we're back at the start. I'm pretty sure. Take off. At the speed of sound. <laughs> Alright, I pull up the guide. They're really evil with these, some of these secrets, I swear to god. Uh, oh, excuse me. My oh. god- My god thinks that they're hidden somewhere here, but I don't know if it is. Once Mario or Luigi see the first spinning brick block, 
They must jump on top to reveal a hidden block for Beanstalk. Of course. <laughs> of course it's that. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be... You're gonna be <laughs> cutting... You're gonna be cutting it close, Harry. Oh, let's go. Sorry. Time for Noah to get his upgrade, finally. <laughs> so this. Oh, it's not that one. Wait, what? Oh, GRG is doing Mario Party Superstars. First hit the first spinning block. Once they see it, they must jump on top to reveal a hidden block for Beanstalk. What? You gotta jump on it. Yeah. Harry, just go to the end of the level and try again. I can just return to map. Like this. The first spinning brick block, not question block. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oops. Oh, this one. That one? Yeah. Of course, there's booze in the way. Okay. There, ah, there the we go. Has to be awkwardly on the side, I guess. Oh, this looks fun. <laughs> well, if I can just, if I just use this. Cool. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what's considered safe to stand on. Wait, wait when does it start to slope? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Funny booze. Yeah, another one up that we totally need. Yeah, we keep losing all oh, the time. Okay. Uh, I tried <laughs> doing something cool, but like, there's too much level left. First, this level for existing. <laughs> I tried to do speedrun strats. Can I do it? Yay. <laughs> okay. Mario number one. Woo! Mario getting tired of the game. <laughs> We're almost done. Are there really only five regular stages in this world? I guess so. Yeah, this game... Out yeah. the statues outside the castle? It looks really funny looking. It's like, yay! Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez. They didn't want to live anymore. Is there something up here? No. That looks like- wait, that is brick you're standing on. Get a shell and- There still has to be something there. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna... <laughs> I don't wanna... Yeah, I don't wanna ground pound that. We ground pound out, it's probably... It's probably a vine. <laughs> Are there even any shells nearby? I'm trying to get to a coop before they kill themselves. Oh my god. No, sad. No, sad. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna... <laughs> Let's see. It's the way you say shit that just makes people laugh so much. I think that, that looks like a one-up to me. We will assume for now it's a one. Can you wall bounce up there? Yeah. Oh, I can. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. What if it kept falling <laughs> you down? Yeah. God. That was funny. Didn't know this was a Crash Bandicoot game. <laughs> nah, um, I, I'm gonna guess you'd have to lead that, that, that ball down. Maybe. It'll probably break through it. Oh, huh. Okay. Yay! I was right! 
I didn't realize those could be like breakable. If they can break regular bricks. Well, I mean, I guess the, I guess like we we assumed that every the regular brick could be kind of bricks. I I assumed that there'd be like a piece which that would like turn into a coin into coins or something. Well, if it was a normal brick, I could definitely see that. This is very straightforward. Damn it. As much as, as much as it's like, as much as we get this shit like this, at least this level seems very straightforward. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, this feels a bit, this feels very Mario Land 2-ish. They had some interesting ideas in this game. Mm. Alright, let's use you since I like you. Uh... No context. Sorry. <laughs> oh, everybody currently. Funny boozer time. <laughs> <laughs> 